Hi guys, Laura Coyle here. So I'm gonna do my very first unboxing and first impressions video. So I got a new tablet and I thought it might be fun to share with you what I got and what I discovered. So first of all, I needed to replace my old Wacom Intuos 5 Touch, which has been a great tablet that I've used for many years, but it's just needing to be replaced. And then I also have a small Wacom tablet here. Um, this is also an Intuos, and this one is actually, I think, just a couple years old. And I use this because it's very lightweight and I can just sort of slide it in a bag and take it with me. Um, but this is not, in my opinion, a great everyday tablet for somebody like me, for an artist who spends all day long drawing on the computer. I think in that case, it's better to buy a pro level tablet. So that means that you're getting something that's a little bit higher quality um, and really that the pen feels more weighty and it's just an ergonomically better drawing experience. Um, with pressure sensitivity, um, I've found that this small Wacom tablet has been actually really pretty good. Um, so I haven't missed um, the lower level of pressure sensitivity between that and the pro level tablet. Um, but for me, mostly the drawing experience of being on a pro tablet with a heavier feel to it is what's most important. So I wanted to get another nice pro level tablet, but this time I decided I would try the Sense Labs medium tablet. So I wanted to go ahead and open that up and show you what I think of it. So here I'm opening the medium tablet bundle. And when you buy the bundle, you're getting both the tablet and a quick keys device. So basically that's for programming with some of your favorite keyboard shortcuts. And the tablet's nicely packaged. And it's actually comparable in price, maybe a little less than the cost of the tablet I'm replacing. So I paid $360 for this bundle on Amazon, and that's at the time of this video. So this is October of 2021. So I'm opening the tablet and I can already tell that it feels lightweight, but you know, fairly sturdy. It's, I think, smaller overall than an Intuos Pro tablet, um, but I think that's because uh, the quick keys are separate. They're not a part of the tablet itself, but I do think the, the drawing area, the active area is close in size. It also comes with a carrying sleeve, which is a really nice extra, and it's got a Velcro closure and then inside there are pockets really for everything you might carry along with it and then it's got this nice soft lining and here i'm opening the quick keys device i'm not sure how great i'll be at making the most out of this i have to admit i didn't use them on the wacom that much uh, but the one thing that I'm excited about with this is it has a display, so I have hope for remembering what I programmed into it. And then there's a really nice pen case, and it includes two pens. There's a heavier pen and a lighter weight pen, and I know there's a difference between them, but I'm just happy to have two for all the times that I happen to leave one behind on another desk somewhere in my office. And there's a drawing glove. I can always use another one of those. So what's really important though is how all of this feels and how it works. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But I just wanna show you one last clip of everything in the box, all the doodads and cords. This is for the tablet. It's got a USB-A to USB-C. Then there's one for the remote device with the keys on it's got a little different connector and then there is an adapter that goes from USB to the new USB-C so that's great and then this is the little wireless dongle and then of course the pens like I talked about before now one thing is this pen right here feels 
like a Wacom pen. It's just nice and sturdy. It feels good in my hand. So I'm looking forward to using that. And then there's the lighter weight pen. And I'm not sure if this is for me or not, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. So I'm going to go hook it up. All right. So the setup was very quick. Everything worked great. Um, I use two monitors and I really like that I'm able to use the extra USB-A ports that are on the bottom of my ViewSonic monitor to hook up the tablet and the keys and I can charge them there or I can work with them with the cords plugged in and the wireless dongle works great plugged into the monitor. So I love that I don't have to use the ports on my laptop. That's actually really convenient for me. Um, so it fits nicely on my desk and it's great because I'm working with Illustrator on the laptop and my screen flow is open on my monitor and the tablet covers both of them. So now in Illustrator, just to test the pressure sensitivity, I have a pressure sensitive calligraphic brush right here. Um, to get pressure sensitivity in Illustrator on these brushes, you just need to double click on the brush and then you can set here the size as determined by pressure. So if you just go on this drop down menu here, you can change this to pressure. And then you have two size settings here. So you have, you know, the overall size and then the variation of seven points on either end. So if this is 10 points right here, then your heaviest pressure gets you 17 points total line weight. And then down here is, I guess, three points. So let me go ahead with that setting and click OK and just apply it to the strokes. We'll see what happens there. And then I can grab the paintbrush tool and, you know, just really lightly and then heavy. And it's not a ton of variation. Let's go back and make this really obvious then. So you have up to 10 points in variation. So you can kind of double the size there. Let me go ahead apply that to the strokes. Let me get rid of these here. And then like that. So it's nice. It's very, I mean, the pressure sensitivity is really easy. I have to say, you know, it's, it's like a Wacom, but um, the thing that's been so great about it in just the, you know, 30 minutes or so that I've been playing around with it is that the setup is really easy. So if I switch over to the software here, we can see under preferences, you can set up your screen arrangement here. So I have mine set to all display. So I'm working on a laptop, but I like to be able to jump over to my main display where I have my video uh, window open. And so uh, this actually makes it really easy. And I, this is something I was really having trouble with using the Wacom tablet and the current driver, I guess. So I'm so happy that this is working on the Sense Labs tablet and it's even more adjustable than that. You can go to portion and I haven't even played with this, but how adjustable is that? I don't remember anything like this on the Wacom tablet. So I'm going to look forward to exploring this more. This software is really great. Like here we have the quick keys and it's taken me a minute to figure this out and I still need a little time to work on this, but I can uh, use zoom, brush size, and also stacking order, um, scrolling through and selecting different objects in the stacking order using this scroll wheel here. And one of the things that I love about this is that you can, let's see, where do I do this? Ah, oh, that's it. If I click, <laughs> let me show you that again. If you just click on the strip here, you can actually change the dial sensitivity just for that one setting, just for the zoom setting. And I've turned mine down a little bit here. There's a light in the dial, so you can just change its brightness and what color it is. And of course you can change this if you don't want it to be zoom, there are other commands here that you can use. So there's a lot of customization that's possible here, which is pretty amazing. Then you can go over to mode two. In my case, um, this is for brush size, just like using the bracket keys. And then you can, of course, set the dial sensitivity for this. And then same for mode three, which is just 
stepping through and selecting objects um, in the stacking order in Illustrator. All of these settings are based on the program that you're using. So right now I'm in Adobe Illustrator, um, but you know, it, it detected Photoshop on my system. And so it's got a whole other set selection of settings for Photoshop. It begins with, you know, some defaults here, sketching, all of these are the buttons right here that are on the device. And these are the commands that they do. And then you've got paint as well. And those are just default settings, but you can change all of this. So there's other uh, settings here that you are able to populate with your own choices. And then you can just step through them, I believe by clicking on this little button here on the, the quick keys. The pen settings are great too. So I'm using the three button pen. Uh, so you've got your pressure sensitivity setting here and then the three buttons here, you can decide what you want these to be. So if you like to change them to any of these options here, you, you can do that. Uh, you can also do different applications. It's pretty cool. Also, there are advanced settings for the pressure sensitivity. This is something I need to look at later. So there's a lot here, but it's very adjustable and I'm really happy about that. So I've got more work to do <laughs> to sort of get used to this, but maybe I can show you how the keys work for zooming in. You have to click the button on the center of the wheel to choose the command. And then you can just turn the wheel to zoom in. Uh, it, of course, it jumped to that one brushstroke because it was selected. Um, there's a button here so I can deselect. I'm just deselecting there. Um, there's a space bar. Let's see. I've got my space bar button. Gives me my hand tool. So I'm moving over here. So this is very cool. It's just going to take me some time to get the hang of it. And I won't bore you with that. But I really love that it has a little display with all the labels. That's going to help me learn this. And it's better for me than having this in a menu on screen because I already have a lot of menus and a lot of little windows open. And so I, I like the way they design this device. But most importantly, I like the way it feels in my hand and the pressure sensitivity is really nice and it feels very much in control. So I think this is a very high quality and responsive pen. So those are my first impressions and I think I'm gonna really enjoy using this tablet. One thing that I realized that I like about having the quick keys separate from the main tablet is that I can always opt not to bring them along. So in those cases where I want something that I can just sort of take to another location, I can just slide that tablet in the sleeve and uh, it's a little bit less cumbersome than bringing the whole rig along with me. So that's cool. And in the short time that I've been using it, uh, the connectivity has been great, either when I'm using it wirelessly or when I have it hooked up. Um, so if I discover anything else, I'll let you know, but I think for now we can call me, uh, a happy customer and, uh, I can recommend the sense labs medium tablet. All right. So I hope this has been helpful to you. And, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I do lots of illustrator videos and illustrator on the iPad and occasionally fresco. Um, so check out my other videos and thank you for watching.